Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Lily continued through the maze-like realm where the Minotaur King awaited. I can't believe she beat up a giant cyclops and got a cool reflecting shield. With another victory and a new tool, Lily was closer than ever to finding her brother. And hello again, viewers. Welcome back to Let's Play Blossom Tales 2 The Minotaur Prince. So at the end of the last episode, I was up in uh, Bloxburg in the maze. And I said I was going to be searching the world to figure out which of the uh, pieces of heart I was missing. And I know for sure now that it's the one on this part of the, on this map screen. One square up and then east from Blossomdale. The thing is, I can't just come here and get it. There's a small quest I gotta go through. I did not know about this until I was doing a desperate search online and I just happened to stumble across it. Let me tell you, information about Blossom Tales 2 is very sparse online. Almost no one has written anything about it. But anyway, we have to go back to Blossomdale and start from there. So, down we go. Killing more grass, because this is a Legend of Zelda game. We have to slash down everything that can be slashed down, if it's in our path at least. Or at least not too far out of our way. Right then. So here we are in Blossomdale. And there's a dig spot over here. I'm sure I found it ages ago and just never came back for it. I wonder if there are any more dig spots around here. Well, I'll worry about that later. Right then. This is where we start. Okay, I can't kill those seeds. Fair enough. There's something that I never really paid attention to here before. At least not very much. There's a guy sleeping here. Well, it just so happens... I have a song to wake up sleeping people. Uh, is this it? No, this is it. What's this one? Right, I think this is the one where Grandpa speaks up and gives me a hint. I thought it was a... Uh, song that would lead me to treasures like for example missing pieces of heart but that's not what it turned out to be but anyway this is the one to wake up sleeping people left left right left okay Oh, hey, I feel so refreshed, says Rumple. Mm hmm. That meant to be a play on Rumple Stiltskin? Because Rumple Stiltskin's thing was not sleeping for a long time. Anyway. Oh, hey, I feel so refreshed. Dreaming? Oh, yeah, I was dreaming about my treasure that I couldn't find. 
I followed all the directions and dug a hundred holes, but I still couldn't find it. You want to go look for it? I'll give you the directions. Get some paper. First, you'll have to start in front of a giant sword that's west of here. Second, go north until you see three big rocks. Third, head east along the road from the rocks and dig by the big tree with flowers at the base. Let me know if you find anything. Alrighty. So, giant sword over this way. That's the memorial to the battle against the uh, Minotaur King. Okay, so, so let's start here. Here marks the spot where the Minotaur King was defeated many years ago. And then head north until I find three big rocks. Um, okay, heading north is kind of difficult here. There are the rocks, though. big rocks. And then follow the road east and dig at the base of the tree with flowers and dig around the tree with flowers at its base. Okay, none of these trees have flowers at their base. However, does. Alright. Sword. Uh, not sword. Shovel. Okay, there we go. I wonder, did I just happen to get it right on the first uh, attempt? Or could I have dug up all over here and not found it until I came over here? Well, whichever the case, I am so glad to finally have this. That was so incredibly frustrating. I probably... Well, I'm not going to say probably. I might have eventually found that sleeping guy and thought to myself, hey, I should wake him up and see what he has to say. Maybe eventually I would have... Done, I would have noticed him sleeping there and tried that, but I really don't know for sure. Now, I gave a hundred apples to the chipmunks, and now I have almost 200 in my inventory. That's a lot of apples. I should be able to eat them for some kind of benefit. Like maybe it could heal me a little bit, like half a heart. As it is, I can only use them for potions or give them to people who happen to want them. And that second group is awfully small now. Stan the traitor has nothing more to give me. The chipmunks have their fill. I can make health potions out of them. But that's about it. Speaking of, I do have one empty bottle. I probably should just make another health potion. So anyway, that guy wanted me to tell him if I found anything.
It was by the tree? I knew it. And the treasure? It was actually there. You saw it? A quarter heart? Of course. Lily, you did it. If only I could have been there. There were rats? Okay, maybe not. Right then. You are welcome. Hey, you taught me that song, which turned out to be useless. Thanks. Blossomdale just wouldn't be the same without our wise, charming mayor. Yeah, the guy who told you to run into burning houses in order to be safe? That guy? I wouldn't call that wise. If the stories are true, your wish might spell the end of Blossomdale. Sorry, Lily. Eh, not if I have anything to say about it. The me that Mentor King costume was great. Best show ever. Hello, Lily. How are you today? Thirsty. Give me a drink. Hey, I'm not too young. What are you talking about? Eh, whatever. Okay, then. So let's make, uh, I don't know, another health potion? Seems like there's two potions missing. I mean, I know for sure there's at least one missing. Hmm, maybe I'll make the bubble shield instead, just to see what it does. It's not like I'm lacking in ingredients, look at that. Lily found a bubble shield potion. This potion makes Lily invulnerable for a while. But yeah, I am missing the ingredients for at least one potion. The recipe for at least one potion. I mean, I found a slow time potion somewhere, but I don't know how to make those. I wonder if I should go back and talk to all those witches again. Let's see, I don't need the shovel. Okay, well, at any rate, I finally have the final piece of heart. Gotten that infuriating search quest done. Wow, that was frustrating. If you look on the Steam board, the community board about for Blossom Tales 2, the developers actually put up a map that has all the collectibles. Shows you where to f where they're found, but it doesn't sh tell you how to find them. So if it's something more involved than just, you know, bombing a cracked wall or something like that. If it's something where you have to actually go through a quest of some sort, like I just did, then it doesn't explain how to find it. I just happened to chance across the explanation somewhere. Because there really isn't very much out there about this game. But... That's done. I don't need to worry about it anymore. It is time to finally get back to the castle of the Minotaur King. a more enthusiastic reception. But there's no soldiers here and the gate's wide open. Okay, I need to get 
that flower, obviously. It's there. I saw it. I had to get it. For a mad moment, I was tempted to go fishing. Through dangers untold and hardships unnumbered, Lily had fought her way to the castle beyond the labyrinth gates. She was ready to face anything inside, except one thing. What, Grandpa? Tell us! The chance that she had arrived too late to take back her brother. <sighs> well, I'm guessing that's not going to happen. He's basically telling this story as a parable. Because, remember, at the very, very start when they were out in the woods and the story hadn't started yet Lily and Chris were fighting over something and so this is his parable about how you know, don't fight with your siblings love them and, and tr cherish them instead that kind of thing stop what are you doing here? Ah, special guest, you're just in time for the end of the ceremony. Let my brother go, you monster, or I'll go away. I'm about to become stronger than you'll ever be. But... Hmm... I don't think young kids would really be clever enough to figure this, so she would probably say this. I'm here to rescue you! Are you serious? Don't forget, I'm here because of you. This is what I want, so don't try to stop us, sis. I mean, Lily. Chris, I... Enough! Let's finish this. I hereby dub thee the Minotaur Prince! <laughs> Behold, Prince... Cause, uh, prince Chrysanthemum of the Minotaur Kingdom! Come, my prince, the kingdom awaits! No! What have you done to my brother? Whoa, I feel... Stronger! Guards, see to this wretch! Okay. Again, I dare you. Okay, one of these puzzles. extend the bridge, but no. It was able to pull down ladders on higher ledges, but it can't extend the, these bridges. Mm. I'm not too surprised by that, but still, that is a bit disappointing. see here. I wonder which of these doors it opens. Both of them? Okay. 
I didn't pay attention. What's further down here? A locked door. Okay, I have to find the key. Four ways to go. Hmm. Obviously, I have to come from that direction in order to extend the bridge. Alright, well, enough playing around. Let's see what to do. Hmm. Let's see. how to get through both of the blue straight ones to the left and the red corner far off to the left and up a bit. step on each panel once. That opened the one over there, did it? Not any of the others. Kind of nifty music in this area. Has a vaguely uh, Spanish sound to it. How 
am I supposed to do this? There's a yo-yo post over there, but how do I get to that other platform? Oh, I get it. Teleporting. I just hope the teleport spot lasts long enough. And now, yo-yo. Die. That didn't do very much damage. Okay. So there's two of these posts that have one spot on. Yeah, the way I figured it, on one of these puzzles before, I had a lot of trouble getting the beams to cross. So look for ways to connect the posts so that the beams didn't cross each other. And this post here, I had to shoot it out this way. And likewise this one that way. So try to go around so that I didn't cross here, for example. And similarly, this post probably had to go left and right, so try not to cross here, for example. And it worked. But yeah, the music is kind of neat. Vaguely Spanish Spanish style to it. This looks like it might be another teleport place. Let's be ready for that. Oh, there are arrow targets up there. It took me a m few moments to notice those targets, but once I did, that was easy. Let's keep the bow out, just in case. going to be the key that I'm looking for? Whoa. How come they aren't hurt by those, those big steel balls? That's unfair. Okay. 
get stopped by the chest. So I can follow these down and sort of hide here. Okay, that is indeed the key I needed. I figured it would be. as I recall. Another one of those Cyclopses. I was wrong. There is not another one down here. I was really hoping for some hearts. so I can get back from there, but I can't get over there. That's what I get for showboating. Okay, so there's two doors here. first for this in the game. Can I just fall off? No, I can't. Looks like I have to climb. Slowly up the greenery. Closer, let's go to it first. What do we find here? Thank you. 
Okay. That's how we do that. Okay, but what's with that symbol there? Excellent. Anything else in here? Yes, but I can't get to it. Oh, what's that switch? go out here and climb over to the right, I should be able to see, should be able to get onto that platform and see what that switch is. Oh, <laughs> that would have made it a lot easier. Well, I managed it anyway, so... I guess I'm cool... with that. Yeah, doors that are further away and where you want to go first. I should remember that. Let's go in. Up. Hmm, another switch. Another bridge with a switch on it. It feels strange for a Zelda-like without something like the Rock's Feather. It just feels like I ought to be able to jump. This takes a lot of uh, inspiration from Link's Awakening and games like that. Ooh, that was close. I almost fell off. Yo-yo. Okay. And now let's get this back out again. Go. Made it 
through this gauntlet. And another one of these puzzles, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Across those. But I'm not able to cross that one. heart or two. And then this should finish it off. Okay. When you get the logic of not crossing the streams, like in Ghostbusters, <laughs> Then it becomes a lot easier. Although I do feel a little bit irritated that, that was never explained explicitly. But oh well, I figured it out so I won't complain too much. to see if there was anything over there, but I got too close to the edge. Okay. What should I equip? Uh -huh. The bow is a good general item. Oh, this looks like a boss fight to me. Whoa. Come on. I think that one guy who I finished off last killed all of his friends for me. That was actually pretty easy. Boy, I'm surprised they all missed me. Okay, another climbing segment. Places does this go to? Hmm, just one. Okay, looks like I have to go in here and then come out the door way over there on the right to climb that next vine. Crumble floor. I was right. Crumble floor. Can you come across the crumble floor? You cannot. Okay. 
area. The shield doesn't work very well against these things. few more while we're at it. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Oh, what's in here? More money? Yep, more money. I wish I had something to spend it on. <laughs> I have 6,500 coins. You know what would really be nice? The magic armor, like in Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. It costs a lot to purchase in the first place, and then it uses up your money to save you from all damage. It's basically the perfect endgame item. I saw that coming. I do not want to do that. Okay, what happens if I stand in the middle? And then... Right, that worked. Oh dear. That makes sense. If I come back in this room and the bridge is not aligned properly, I have to be able to move it. Open this door too. Oops. I'm just trying to get the barrels. All right. There we go. Now, which door to take? I guess I happen to be over here. Let's take this one. That's the way I need to go, in the middle there, but I can't yet because I haven't lowered those, uh, oops. I haven't lowered those obstructions. Yeah, when you have the mirror shield, those m minor cyclopses are much easier. They basically kill each other for me. Uh, I just felt like blowing that guy up. Oops. This is kind of not 
good. Um, there we go. Alright, so what some what am I gonna find in here? Not more of these guys, fair enough. fairly well. kidding me. Straight walk through here. And more climbing. Yay. Wasn't there another vine down there that I didn't get to? Hmm. I feel like I ought to go back down and check that out. Okay. Oh no, I did get to it. Alright. I kind of misremembered that. Well, no matter. Yeah, I still kind of wonder about this labyrinth business. It really seems like the Minotaur King and his forces weren't actually locked away in here because they've been able to get out before. They attacked Blossomdale that time. So maybe it wasn't to keep them in, maybe it was to keep everyone else out so they were able to rebuild their forces or whatever. dead ends that would be a clip that would be a much more clever trick if the vines went high enough that I couldn't see they were dead ends as it is I immediately knew which direction to go huh. looks like I've possibly reached the top 
Oops. I didn't want to do that. I was trying to destroy those pots. Now I want to do that. And the reason I want to do that is because that will activate the autosave feature. Because it's time to end the video. We're at nearly the one hour mark, and this has the looks of a door to a boss room. And I don't have time for that in this episode. So viewers, Thank you very much for watching Let's Play Blossom Tales 2 The Minotaur Prince. In the next episode, we'll head inside the door and see what nasty surprise the Minotaur King has for us inside. Later.